It's exactly what you don't want to hear. Dozens of North Texas families losing their savings in a and their retirements in a Ponzi scheme. While the victims will probably never get their money back, several of them did tell our I-Team at least nobody else is going to fall victim. I-Team reporter Brian New tonight has been investigating the case for months. He joins us from outside federal court in Sherman. The federal judge in this case said this was not your typical Ponzi scheme. He said this one dug so much deeper, which is why he says he sentenced the 74-year-old ringleader James Nix to 48 years in prison. Behind a small accounting firm run out of this home in Louisville, Texas, was a family secret life. One with mansions, high-end cars, luxury trips, a life of riches paid for with their money. Working class families, many who testified in court that they entrusted their entire retirement savings to James Nix. I mean, we've known him for over 30 years, and we're finding out in the last three years almost everything he told us was a lie. Federal prosecutors say Nix and his son Bradley defrauded nearly 40 victims over the course of two decades for a total of more than $6 million. Their victims were their tax clients. They're friends. As a federal judge handed down what amounts to be a life sentence for the 74 year old Nix, the judge noted the pain Nix inflicted on the families and how not once did he take responsibility or show remorse. I wasn't expecting him to show remorse. The day he told me to go kill myself, he wasn't going to give me any money. I knew there would be no remorse. After investing with Nix for 18 years, Kathy and Ken Cousins felt they had enough money to retire. But it was on their way to a cruise to celebrate their retirement that Nix told them they had no money. I called James and he said, yeah, that's your money, but I don't have any money. I'm not going to give it to you. While you're on the cruise ship, you might as well just jump over the rail and kill yourself. That's what he said? Yeah, that's exactly what he said. And I knew then it was a scam. There was no doubt at that point. But the cousins say that wasn't even the worst part. She was working um, in Crum at Golden Chip washing dishes. That's the job that she could get. Their daughter, Kelly, who is legally blind, had earned a few thousand dollars and wanted to put it away for college. So her parents suggested she invested with Nick's. That hurts as bad as losing our money, knowing that we caused her to lose that. And now we can't give it back because we her. can't, we can't help her. We don't have it to repair. Prosecutors say nearly all the money Nix took is gone, spent on trips and renting mansion after mansion after mansion all across the country, which is why the federal judge told the victims all he could do for them was sentence Nix to prison for the rest of his life. I spoke with James Nix's attorney after sentencing. He declined to comment. Meanwhile, James's son, Bradley Nix, earlier this summer pleaded guilty to fraud charges and was sentenced to four and a half years in prison. During the trial, Bradley Nix testified against his father. In Sherman with the I-Team, Brian New, CBS 11 News. Tough story, Brian. We thank you very much.